Hello magical butterflies. This is Xtina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. I hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are subscribed. Please make sure to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. If you are interested in booking a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, they can be booked in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop is listed below along with my list of services. If you are interested in purchasing one of the decks I created or the Twin Flame Music deck I co-created with my soul sister, if you are in the United States, you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. If you are international, there is a special ordering link for you below. My link tree link is listed below. In that link you will find ways to connect with me outside of YouTube, my Instagram, my Facebook, my Patreon butterfly community, my blog website, and if you like my channel and would like to support my channel and my work, my butterfly gratitude donation links are also in my link tree. This reading is going to be the Divine Love Healing. This is usually a weekly reading that I do for the last couple weeks I just felt called not to do it because of the energy since the previous full moon so this reading is going to be for the beginning of August so August 1st through the 14th or whenever you're seeing this because this reading is intended to be timeless this is going to be general this can apply to all types of love connections whether you resonate with a label or you do not resonate with a label all types of scenarios Please use your own discernment when watching the video. Please only take the message or messages that speak directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul. Release it and let it fly. So the decks I'm going to be using for this reading are the True Love Reading Cards, Divine Feminine Healing by Mystic Moon Oracles, Love Notes by the Destined 1111, The Power of Surrender Cards, Spell Casting Oracle, Star Seed Oracle, the Soul's Journey, Love Notes from the Universe, and two decks that I created, Butterfly Messages from Spirit and Zodiac Angel Messages. So let's get into the theme for the first part of August, the 1st through the 14th or whenever you're watching this. The theme is usually just the opening message that Spirit has for what's currently going on in the collective. Okay, so we have commitment. So what I'm really getting with this card, let me just get it so there's not a glare. All right, actually I have something I can stand it up on. So commitment. Commitment seems to be on the forefront of a lot of people's mind. Manifesting a soulmate I'm hearing manifesting a true love counterpart, whether you resonate with a label, wanting to connect with someone, wanting to find that true love connection that you dream of. Now, the two swans with the moon behind them, the full moon shows me something is being illuminated within the collective. I'm hearing at a crossroads, so for some of you, you could be at a crossroads, especially if you resonate with a twin flame connection. Maybe you're just realizing that maybe you need to look elsewhere maybe your twin flame is not ready or something has happened in your connection or maybe you're just feeling as if you want to manifest a soulmate of course take it as it applies but the stars around the moon shows me wish upon a star make a wish and if you have done that over the lion's gate portal and the new moon in leo that happened on august 8th you are putting out into the universe what you want to manifest when it comes to love. So let's get into the overall energy for the collective. Now this is going to be the overall energy that both you and your person are currently putting out into the universe when it comes to love, each other, the connection, and just what you both want overall. So the overall energy is body talk. I am a goddess. So what I'm feeling is that both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, regardless of gender, because they are just an energy, I am a goddess, I am a god, 
I really just feel they're both embodying that self-love, sensual, sacral chakra energy. Solar plexus chakra is also coming through. Really just getting connected, talking to your higher self, making yourself feel good, making yourself look good. And what that's doing is it's bringing an end to this alienation. The act of isolation stems from fear of intimacy. Do not take this behavior personally or try to force anyone to open up. So if you have a counterpart who does not know how to open up to you, maybe you have tried and you have tried and now you're just like, you know what, I'm just over it. I, I, I don't, I don't want to try anymore. So now you're getting real with yourself about the type of relationship that you want. And you're realizing with time, I do not wait on others to fulfill my happiness. So as much as divine timing is at play with everything in your life, you're not allowing yourself to wait around for someone to realize that you're the one for them, to leave their person and come back to you. You are now making time for yourself, and they could be doing that as well. The headspace for the collective is, I have the ability to change my mood by the thoughts I am choosing to think. I focus on things that bring my joy, not on things that make, that, that rob me of my peace. So you, the headspace is being cleared. There's a lot of crown and third eye activations. The ego is being shed. Things are just becoming crystal clear. The full moon is showing me that on that commitment card. I really just feel intuition is heightened at this time, and that is causing the heart space to be liberation. As I heal, I'm setting us free. So as you heal your heart, you set not just yourself free, but your person. You're releasing the past, you're releasing what was, and you're understanding with broken promise, when you are ready, I know you will fix this. Meaning, when your person is ready, they will fix this, whether it be in this lifetime or the next, because you are no longer waiting around for them to come back and apologize, to explain, especially if they left you out in the cold and they ghosted you. You're just freeing yourself from that because you want to gain your composure because you want to embody your divine feminine or divine masculine energy. I remain calm under pressure even when other people are trying to engage me in conflict. So you're gaining your composure and not allowing your ego to just take the reins and to take you down that road that you don't want to go down anymore. And with signs from above, I know that my angels and guides are assisting me. So you are trusting the process. You are, you are either completely trusting the process or you're just awakening to. It's going to be different for everyone, but... You know that you are being assisted and listening to your intuition will keep you calm, cool, and collected. So let's get into how your person is feeling, the person you're watching the video for. So this is just going to be channeled messages from their higher self to you just to see where they're at energetically when it comes to you and your connection and just overall what they're dealing with when it comes to their life and love. So this will be their overall energy current head space and current heart space. Their overall energy is even though we are apart, I still feel you with me and it gives me so much comfort. So even if you and your person have not seen or spoken to each other in a long time, I'm really just feeling that they still can feel you, you can still feel them, and it is just bringing so much comfort. It's bringing a very beautiful sense of healing energy. You are more powerful than you realize. So this confirms that you can reach them energetically because you have a deep telepathic bond and the two of you are healing. I'm really feeling in the dream state if you two are not seeing each other in the physical 3D world. Their headspace is I have been dreaming about you a lot lately. So your person has you heavily on their mind because they have been dreaming about you. I need you to keep going no matter how hard it gets. I promise you I will catch up. So your person is telling you not to wait around for them. They're telling you to move forward with your life, to make your wishes and make your wishes come true, and they will catch up. Now, will they catch up with you in this lifetime? 
it's possible, but they may not. It's really just what's destined and really what you both decide in the free, the free will decision in the 3D world. But in their heart space, I don't know why I am turning away from you or our connection, but I feel like I just have to go my own way right now. So what I'm feeling is that your person has pulled their energy back and you have felt it. And that is just causing you to really look up to the stars, look up to the sky, the moon, the sun, and just make that wish to maybe manifest the soulmate. Now that's not going to resonate with everybody. But your person could just not feel that they're worthy enough, not good enough, or there's a lesson that they have to learn. Because this is a confirmation. I just don't know what to say to you right now, so I stay away. I can't handle hearing the disappointment in your voice. So they know that they have done something to disappoint you. And in disappointing you, they disappointed themselves. Now, will they come back and make things right? It's possible. This is just the current energy of what they're feeling in their heart space. But we don't know how it's going to go because everyone's connection is different. But... What you just need to know from them is that ever since I met you, nothing in my life makes sense anymore. I feel so confused. So you have rocked their world, and you have made them see things in a different light. And I love who I am when I am with you, because they are their true authentic self. You make them believe, you make them love, and you make them want to be a better person. I am not in control when I am with you, and that scares me, but you make them feel things they can't control and if your person is a control freak or very guarded and was raised a certain way not to show emotions this is very difficult for them this connection is so intense it overwhelms me at times so that could be why your person has pulled away or is pulling away because the connection is too intense and they're just not in the space to handle it and that's okay because they just need to learn a karmic lesson and you just need to just Stay in the energy of trusting that whatever is meant to be with the two of you will be and that all will align in divine timing. So let's get into the blocks, the obstacles, the conflicts, and the challenges that are currently happening in your love connection in the collective this week. And I will bring forth a guidance message to just clarify what needs to be surrendered healed cleared purged and released so the first thing is non-action so surrender to non-action now is the time to be still and not act simply breathe and focus on your own power let others come to you so surrender to no action happening in this connection if your person is not coming towards you if they're choosing to go in a different direction if they have chosen to go in a different direction and they're choosing to stay there whatever it is Surrender to non-action and allow yourself to prosper from this. When you accept the non-action, when you accept this is what's meant to be right now, you will bring in this prosperity because you will manifest something to come in, whether it be another person or you just choose to stay on your own and just embody your divine feminine, divine masculine energy, and maybe shift the focus from your person or from love in general to just career and life purpose. The next thing is attachment to results. So surrender your attachment to results. This is a huge block that needs to be released to help things move forward. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results, holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So if you have attachments to results, have expectations on how you, things, you think things should go, or you envision or you have expectations of your person, especially when it comes to timelines, releasing any of these attachments. It's like the song Make Things Happen by Mariah Carey says, if you believe in yourself enough and know what you want, you're going to make it happen. So you have to believe in yourself that you're going to make whatever's meant to be in love happen, whether it be with this person or not. And you just want to lighten your load by just releasing the heavy burdens of these results, looking back, waiting for them, reliving the past, holding on to the past. You want to lighten your load. You want to release all this. You want to surrender it because in order to bring something new in, you have to release the old. 
and then you will be able to surrender to miracles. Now dolphins represent happiness, so there's another full moon, so things are going to be eliminated. So whatever you're struggling with, I feel, on this next full moon that we have later this month, it's really going to help you just be able to go with the flow, because when you are able to be open to miracles occurring in your life, feel and know that these events are real, let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. When you truly believe in miracles, you see the beauty in everything. You see the beauty in yourself, your person, the connection, what every experience has meant to show you, and it gives you the willpower to manifest what it is that you desire and you get into the energy of empowerment where you understand that you are the creator of your reality and your thoughts create your reality based on what you put your focus and attention on so the next section is going to be guidance this is going to be guidance advice what you need to know and any action steps you may be guided to take either in this connection as well as your own personal journey of self-love and healing. And I do have three guidance decks for you today. So your first message is a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. So I'm really picking up on Taurus energy. So if you are a Taurus or you resonate, connect with a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this could be a special message, but it's happening. So just hold the vision. Something is getting ready to shift. And just have gratitude. Say, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So have gratitude that something is coming. Something is shifting. This commitment is coming. Even if you don't know what it is or who it is, just keep going. Because you glow, we beam. Thanks. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes, loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared, the universe. P.S. It's just another one of those nutty body algorithm things. So what Spirit is telling you is don't close your heart off to love. Even if you loved someone so much and they didn't reciprocate or it didn't work out, don't close your heart up because you will be able to call in someone who will love you. It's just a matter of your perspective. And with perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So trust your intuition on what you're being guided to do moving forward when it comes to love. And just surrender to the sweetness. This is Venus energy, pleasure, joy make love to life. Just go with the flow. Lots of water coming through. So if you're a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or you connect with a water sign or you just have Cancer somewhere in your chart, you're really, the water is just being, I'm really drawn to the water. So that's telling me that water is healing. And what the water is telling you is to give yourself much more credit. A stranger than strange preponderance to ponder. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are, who are bad at relationships. Oh, see? Wow. Even though I use preponderance ineptly, this one is really good. Please ponder the universe. So connecting with water, surrendering to the sweetness, what I'm getting is that if you really get real with yourself and honest with yourself, and ponder what is it that you want in love? Where do you see yourself? That is going to help you release this weight of the world where you will be able to go with the flow. You will be able to set boundaries. You will be able to let it go, meaning letting go anything that just doesn't serve you anymore. It's not yours to carry and you will be able to lighten your load. And by doing that, you will trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, so trusting the process and trusting what you need to know is going to show you that karma is on your side. So karma can come to you, good karma or bad karma, and if you could read all the minds that I read, hear all the prayers that I hear, 
and beat all the hearts that I beat. I wonder if you'd even believe how often you're thought of, talked about, and fallen in love with. It's payback time. Andale, andale, the universe. So what I'm getting is the universe is telling you that love is coming. Something is coming, someone is coming. There's a new beginning coming overall for the collective in love. I feel for those who are truly ready to manifest a true love counterpart who are ready to be open to who it is, whether it be the person you're watching the video for, a new person if you're single, or it could be somebody you're in a relationship with where any challenges that the two of you are having, things are gonna work itself out. So just trust that what your intuition is telling you is correct. So let's get into possible future energy on just what the future holds or what the future may hold for the collective when it comes to love. Now this is possible future energy. It is not set in stone. It is what can happen, what may happen. If you and your person do your work, follow your guidance and make the free will decision to come together. In the future, you will follow your intuition and your intuition is going to help you make a wish on what you want in love. Right now, you are going through a cleansing. So once you are finished cleansing your soul and cleansing your mind, you will be able to speak your truth and you will be able to make that wish. And that wish is to call in a counterpart that has unconditional love. Now this person is going to come when it's time, so trust and don't share too much about what you're manifesting. Only share it with someone who you know will support you and love you and cheer you on. You don't want to say it to somebody who's a naysayer, who's very negative, because other people's actions and words only affect you if you allow it. So don't allow someone's projection of what they think you should do to help you self-sabotage it. And your spirit animals are going to help you and they're bringing you messages of this person that's coming. So they want you to detach from outcomes and just know that your beliefs are what you believe to be true. So always honor your beliefs. And when you transform your thoughts, you will transform your life. And the answers you seek are within. So solar plexus chakra came out in the beginning of this reading. So maybe doing a solar plexus chakra meditation or guided meditation can help you just connect that's the middle chakra and when that chakra is off it can throw the bottom and top chakras off balance so just focus on the present leave the rest to spirit because you will receive what is meant for you in divine timing stay true to yourself journal and always stay grounded and Connect to your intuition. Stay open and see. You will have this transformation and trust that this true love counterpart will come in when it's time. So I'm going to close out this reading with channeled affirmations and angel numbers for each zodiac sign. So this will be for each zodiac sign, all 12. Cancer, this will be, um, not cancer, it will be all four elements, each individual sign for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what speaks to you, release what doesn't, and if any interpretation wants to come through, I will read it. So we have Aries. A cycle is closing, 999. So Aries, you are closing a cycle. Everything is unfolding as it's supposed to. Leo, 414, self-care cleanses the soul. So just take care of yourself at this time. Sagittarius, 141, meditation brings clarity and answers. So meditation will bring you the answers you need. Solar plexus chakra. Cancer, 143, there is no need to worry surrender and allow the universe to unfold so my sweet cancer whatever you're worried about release it surrender it to the divine and they are going to bring you what is meant for you in love and i'm hearing so mode it be
Scorpio, 555, five, five. change is coming. So change is coming, a new beginning is coming. It could happen during your season. Pisces, 17, which equals an eight, moving forward. Move forward with ease and don't fight the current. Gemini, 10, 16, align. Align with your intuition and you will see a shift and you will see that when you get out of your head and get into your heart, things will change. Libra, 37, which equals a 10. There's a beginning of a new chapter coming for you, but will you take the reins and will you move forward or will you continue to run? Aquarius, 657, focus on the solution. You're focusing too much on the problem. Release it. Focus on the solution and you will see it will, res it will resolve itself. Taurus, 633. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Release your fears. You are not your fears. You are love. Virgo, 333. Use your third eye, the trifecta. Mind, body, spirit. Connect all three. Trust your third eye chakra. Trust your intuition. And Capricorn, 77. You are manifesting magic. You are manifesting something huge when it comes to love. Keep going and trust. I do hope this reading has brought you clarity and guidance on just what the current energy check-in for the collective is with Divine Love Healing for August 1st through the 14th, the beginning part of August. If this resonated, let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video. And if you're interested in purchasing a guidance reading or a guidance session with me, you can book them in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop along with my list of services is listed below. Love and light.